Hi, I'm Becky Ann Sisk, and I'm a principal dancer with Ballet West. I remember when this came out, everyone thought I was going to be so tall because it's like lengthened. So when I got to Ballet West, they were like, oh. Yeah, I can't get my leg up like that anymore. My hands were so bad. This was like, I feel like usually when you rehearse for YGP or at least at The Rock, we would start in like, October and finals weren't till April, but regionals were in January. But I didn't do regionals this year, I just went to finals and we started this two weeks before the competition. So I feel like that helped me because it wasn't like, I don't know, too mental. After this, like I felt so good about myself because I was like, that was great. And then I went to the final round and bombed, like bombed. I feel like I always had like so much fun once I was on stage, but I felt so nervous, like leading up and then watching the people that go before you. Like there's a girl in the company now, actually Amber Miller, and she was always right before me and she scared me so bad. <laughs> Like, oh my god, she's so tall and like scary. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like I'll never forget those people that I feel so lucky that I got to watch so many kids. And it's so cool to see now that like we're all in companies all over the world. I'm with some now, you know, it's just I don't know, it's so cool. YGP was such an important part of my career and this like years of school I feel like if I hadn't had it you know like Larissa has just done so much for me and just like having her to be like you know you can do this you, know, you can be a ballet dancer that was you know that kind of changed how I saw myself and if I was going to be able to do this or not <laughs> was also scary because it was like we didn't go with the school like Bo and Stephanie would go but like we were kind of like on our own and I remember years like my mom couldn't come so I was just like in New York City by myself and I remember like I didn't know how to do my hair and like a French twist and all these <laughs> things like it was so stressful I like wouldn't take because I didn't know how to get to like the scholarship classes and stuff most of the time so I wouldn't take the classes I'd just show up like five minutes before my time I think it's always the point like when rock goes, you guys all scream for oh, like, the whole audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that was like the best part of YGP was like your friends are out there like and no matter what you did they scream for you like even in this video you hear people like oh like yeah you know like I know that's my friends like just trying to help me out. I don't know. We were so obnoxious. <laughs> Have any advice for future competitors? Just have fun. I feel like YGP is to just show people you, you know, and also just kind of add pressure to yourself, like to put you in a position where you get to perform in front of all these people that know what's good and what's not, and also all these people that can help you with your career and can talk to other, you know, like it's just to build connections. So I feel like don't hesitate and don't stress out too much. Just go and do what you do. Like don't, 
don't be nervous just go have fun like this video is like the only time i feel like i went and had fun and it happens to be like the only one people remember <laughs> so i don't know i just feel like when you just go and enjoy yourself and use it for just putting yourself out there like don't care about placing you know i never placed in finals i never got top 12 in finals and i feel like i still like people still remember this stuff and I feel like it has helped me get a career and have a job. Like this is, I mean, YEGP is how I got a job. Adam saw me at YEGP and every year he waited till I was, you know, graduating high school and then was like, come on. So I have YEGP to thank.